Okay, so Judy Alvarez, one of many NPCs you can romance within this game. Today we talk about what we know in terms of romancing NPCs, clues within trailers, and a little info coming from leaks. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. So before we go any further, this video will contain no leaked footage whatsoever, nor will it contain any spoilers coming from any leaked information besides what we already know from legit sources, what IGN have told us, and well media sources who have had early access. But I will still mention, spoiler warnings even though the information I will mention is public info, there still might be something here you won't want to hear. So leave now if you want to go into this game which releases in a few days completely blind. And also people, I am giving away copies of Cyberpunk. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will announce winners via my Discord link below and within videos to come, so good luck. Okay, so I know for a fact there will be people out there who will rush through this game's campaign and complete the story, which is fine, play it how you want, but many of us will want to experience the game the way CDPR intended. With this kind of experience comes romances. Now romances in this game for the folk out there who don't know are basically features in the game to take relationships with NPCs that one step further and yes this does involve I believe sex and sex scenes too. One of many NPCs many folk are interested in and to know more about is Judy Alvarez. Who let's not be around the bush is a pretty girl even within that digital format. And most people want to know the options that are available here with her. So Judy we will use as an example of how romances work within Cyberpunk 2077. So Judy being an NPC one of many within this game, she will obviously have quests for you to take part in. We already know of one side quest with Judy which has us investigate the murder of the mayor. Now it was also confirmed from IGN that doing said quests for Judy and doing things right in a way in which we treat her and people in general, the game picks up on it due to obviously dialogue options and the more we help out Judy or anyone else for that matter, the more these romance options will open up for us to explore. For instance, we have a phone. Yes, it's mainly used to log quests, but depending on how you treat people and how you work with them, you might just get a message asking you how you are from an NPC, maybe asking you to hang out, etc, etc, etc. And I can't remember what interview I remember it from, it was either IGN or GameSpot, but they mentioned doing a quest, a mayor quest for Judy, then later on down the line you got a message from her asking you how you were, and this is just one step towards a relationship with her. And it's really as easy as that guys, although there is no other indication of said romance progressing besides general inklings like we get in real life, so no romance progress bar or anything like that, it's just all about learning, listening and taking note of what's happening, which in my opinion is amazing. But you also have to remember that the game is crazy deep and dialogue will determine the outcome of most things. But you must remember, Judy within this game is basically a very own person, with a background, a personality, a job as a brain dancer techie, the best at what she does so we are told. She also has an affiliation with the Moxies, one of the many gangs within this game. So what will working with other gangs do in terms of the relationship between us and her? It all plays a major part in building your character and the way in which other NPCs see you. One bad move and I'm afraid such relationships could be quite impossible and I don't think there's a reset button either if mistakes are made. Now ages back when it came to Judy we saw rumours about romance options here and there but many pointed towards a romance option with Judy being locked to a street kid life path and this info went on to spread around the internet and it saw many folk actually for this reason alone already making their life path choice. But confirmed not long ago by CDPR Russia this is not the case. Someone tweeted asking, well it translates to this, here the media say the following, the affair with Judy will be available on Life Path Child of the Streets. Is this true? Child of the Streets obviously means street kid. CDPR Rush replied with, this does not depend on the path of life, i.e. Life Path. Which is good to know as I plan to go corporal. 
and would like to explore this relationship a little further and see where it goes. Another rumour going around on the internet is that Judy is gay and will only go for other female characters, basically stating you have to create a female or feminine character for this romance option to be a possibility. Upon looking around the internet to figure this one out, to see if this is actually factual, I was just met with other people asking the same thing. Now personally, I ain't sure on this one, and I feel because of how this game works, I think the more we do with her and for her, whether we are male or female, maybe even the more we build into those techie i.e. netrunner options, which is believed to be what she's also into, this could also build a relationship up with her. I believe 80% of NPCs who are romanceable will be bisexual, and depending on your character build, your relationships and affiliations, I don't really think being male or female will matter, and she just might be able to fall for you, no matter what you are. What I can say is, a part of one of the recent trailers, we see this slight scene where we see Judy in what's a first person sex scene, or believed to be. This is also one of the many leaked videos to hit the web, which shows Judy within this scene, a full scene, and I'll let your imagination do the rest. Now I won't go into any further details about this as I do not want to spoil it for you, but this is what you are thinking. But this doesn't mean at all guys that this is not an option for male characters too, but we will see. But yeah, romance is going to be a big deal within this game, but I will mention romancing characters and building relationships is just one major part of cyberpunk. But it isn't just what this game is about. Yes, it's getting a lot of attention at the moment due to, well, it's what life is all about, but cyberpunk offers much, much more. The game releases in some parts of the world in just a couple of days, so not long left at all for us all to get our hands on it and explore said options for ourselves. Another thing guys, and I've said this in a lot of my most recent videos, there are tons of spoilers all over the internet, story, quest, character, you name it, so just be careful if you do not want to be spoiled, especially if only a couple of days left. Cyberpunk from what I have seen, uh, from all these leaks, the spoilers don't really bother me, what I will say is the game looks as good as I've always imagined. I was scared by seeing some of the gameplay trailers as a lot of them are being done on high-end PCs, but the recent PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Series X video gameplay trailers we have seen actually do the game's justice and from the console leaks I've seen too, we have nothing to worry about. The game looks incredible and come December 10th, it will swallow your life for sure. But yes guys, another warning, just be careful where you look on the internet. Like I said, there are many, many leaks popping up absolutely everywhere. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. Just a reminder, if you ain't bought or pre-ordered Cyberpunk yet and want to be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will pick winners over the coming days and announce them probably on release day or a day after, but we will see. But guys, if you did enjoy the video and ain't bothered about getting a copy of the game, do go ahead and smash that like button. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on if you liked what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.